It's time for your daily education. King Ludwig XIV presumably suffered typhoid fever when he was 20. He was vigorously bled by six doctors, subjected to an enema's assault, given emetics to cleanse his stomach, and given a tea that sent him to the pot for 14 to 15 times in a day. When he recovered, they gave themselves a pat on the back and said that the nine good bleedings they had administered to him were to blame. In fact, despite their medical treatment, he made a full recovery. Lewis had a string of doctors throughout his adult life, all of the same caliber, Ballot, Lockheen, and Fagot. They all adhered to the bizarre therapeutic theories of the day and tortured him for the remainder of his life. With frequent enemas, purgatives, and bleedings. He appears to have had a colonic cleaning and bleeding at least once per month, and some people believe he had around 2,000 enemas throughout his life. His minor diseases ranged from some that were genuine, such colds, dizziness episodes, bouts of hearing, and even malaria, to some that were more irrational. Ascaris, trichinella, and fasciola hepatica parasite infestations, among others, may have also tormented him. By 1668, he had clearly gained weight, started experiencing gout attacks, and by 1686, he had a severe, inflamed, pus-filled anal fistula. He was confined to bed, unable to ride a horse, and releasing foul intestinal waste into the air. Surgery was required. The chief surgeon became an expert in this practice by doing operations on as many patients as he could discover in the hospitals of Paris. The king's surgery went smoothly, he valiantly endured the pain, and three surgeons each received 80,000 to 150,000 livres. Louis's gout flared up more frequently as he aged. He was unable to consume the substantial meals to which he had grown used. Despite more frequent and forceful bleedings, enemas, and purgatives, his health was deteriorating. By the age of 66, his health had deteriorated, his disposition had declined, and nearly none of his teeth remained. He could still go along in his carriage to hunts, concerts, and council meetings. He started experiencing leg pain in August 1715. The physicians diagnosed him with sciatica. A black spot then formed on his leg. The doctors used the standard treatments, but to no avail. Nearly the entire thigh was covered in gangrene. He passed on four days before turning the age of 77, having ruled France for the longest of any European monarchs. Follow for more education, 